Hey guys, welcome back to another video. On today's Copper Drop video, I'm gonna unbox and give a quick review of the Jordan 11 Space Shams. I know I'm a bit late on this wave, but I wasn't willing to pay resale on these shoes. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to go ham on that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet. Also, don't forget to press that bell button because that notifies you when we release new videos and we release new videos every single day. So let's start this video. This year, I honestly gonna start copying everything off my grail list and these were one of my favorite shoes of all time just because Space Jam was a movie that I grew up watching and enjoying and honestly, they really need to make another part. LeBron James, you need to like stop and like think about the children. Think about the children, LeBron. And it'll be such a nostalgic thing for us as well. So please, LeBron, tweet him, let him know. I want him to make Space Jam too. Let's get to the shoe. This is the shoe box here. The good thing about this one right here, it's a different style to all the other Jordan 11s. The normal Jordan 11s only came with the box without this outer casing. This outer casing has Bugs Buddy hands on it. On the back of it, it has the Looney Tunes logo. If you look really carefully at the front of the box, it is actually Bugs Bunny hands and also the Monstars hands making that 23 and the 45 on the background. Purple pull tab at the front, it has this like really plum sort of color pull tab right here. You pull it out and it will show the original Jordan 11 box that everyone knows and loves. This is what I really love about Jordan brand. Like yeah, I love Yeezys and whatnot, but Jordan brand really put special detail in the boxing. Like for example, this 4-5 on the front, it's beautiful. Let's open the box. In the inside of the box, it has like a space sort of looking, I don't even know what to call it. Like it's very, like it's a hologram as well. So it's just not a cheap print. Super cool, attention to detail on this is amazing. I'm not gonna say that enough in this video because the boxing itself, insane, insane. The classic Jordan 11 boxes also always come with this. These are only for the adult sizes, the men's sizes. The GS sizes don't come in cool boxes like this. The GS sizes come in the original retro boxes. So if you buy something like a 7Y or like the children's one, you're not gonna get this box. This is made of like a really hard plastic. What I love about it, it's see-through. The pattern that forms the Jordan 11 sort of classic logo is the carbon fiber that's at the bottom of the shoe. This is what I mean by attention to detail. Look at this wrapping paper. The wrapping paper says 4-5 on it at the front as well. That's, that's like, oh. See, the wrapping paper you get in the Yeezy, it's just like, it feels like cheap toilet paper or like cheap, like, I don't know, just not great. Perfect, perfect. Let's get to the shoe double. Double wrapping paper. It's like Christmas. The moment that I've been waiting for. I know you guys have seen this shoe, but this is the moment I've been waiting for. The reason why I didn't cop this shoe when it first came out, because resale price was insane. And shout out to the guys from the kickstand. I picked this up from the kickstand for retail plus shipping. I really wanted another basketball shoe. But I'm not 100% if I'm gonna use this on the court because I know Jordans now, are, like the retro version, sorry, are not great on court and they don't have the technology they do now. As I said before, this is number, like probably two on my grail list. Number one is the Bread 11s. I have, I just have this great love for this shoe. Like every person or every sneakerhead should have a story behind their grails. And I'll give you guys a little backstory on these as well. Besides the point that I used to love Space Jam is that my parents didn't have a lot of money when growing up and I was really, really into basketball. Like I was playing state ball, I was playing rep ball, I was playing a lot and a lot and a lot of basketball. So I needed something that like, you know, like was good, like something that was gonna last. And back in the days in Melbourne, if you guys know, the corner of Burke and Swanson Street, which is now like a Telstra store, was a massive, huge Nike store. Even saying this, my first like, what's it called? Like job experience, work experience. I worked at the Nike shop and I freaking loved this shoe so much. And I remember my parents didn't buy me these, but they bought me the Bread 11s. And I was like wearing these every single day, no matter like, it's sports day, no matter if it's just a normal day, this is me in grade five or grade six, rocking a pair of Jordan Bread 11s. And this, this is why it's so nostalgic to me. I love this shoe. If you guys look carefully on, on the front of this shoe, it is patterned leather as always, all the way through. 
The good thing about this yeah. shoe is that they brought back the 4-5. Right. That's the only, like, one of the major difference yeah. between this shoe and the earlier retros of the Space Jam's Icy Blue Soul. I've noticed they've been doing this on a lot of the retros now, having this, like, non-translucent sole. It has this tinge of blue in it. I'm not 100% how I feel about them on other Jordans, but this one makes total sense because the shoe is blue, the Jumpman is blue, the sole is that icy blue. Beautiful looking shoe. Like this is a very must cop for me. I don't know about you guys, a, a lot of the, the younger kids, or i will say the newer age sneakerheads, are not too fond of the Space Jam 11s or even the Jordan 11s in general. But to all the old school sneakerheads, this was like a grail shoe just because of Jordan himself wearing these on the comeback, on the Space Jam, and, and just the championships, all that kind of stuff. Nostalgic, this is the reason why it's in my top five grail list. Oh, I love this shoe. There's not much I can say about this shoe that you guys probably don't know already. I'm gonna show you guys some B-roll. I hope you guys enjoyed this shoe. This was a super quick review of the Jordan 11 Space Jams. I love this shoe. I can't believe I finally got a pair for myself in my correct sizing. And also this shoe runs true to size. So if you guys are looking to purchase one, don't forget to go to true to size. And if you're looking to play basketball with it, I'll probably go a half a size up. Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was nice and simple and easy. There wasn't too much to talk about this shoe. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button that looks like this, my thumb and it's fierce. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Smash that bell button. That bell button notifies you immediately when we release brand new videos. I hope you guys are having a beautiful and wonderful start of the year because this is perfect for my start of my year. Peace out guys.